1891, and it is a vehicle. You can barely see the V on there. Just as I was talking about quarters. Man, silver quarter. Well, I just got to the spot to go detecting, and this just blew in. You can hear some thunder rumbling um, off in the background a minute ago, so I hope it goes through quick. Well, the rain stopped, but a, another thunderstorm is coming through. I've been at it for almost an hour, and I haven't really got much but shotgun shells. Got a deep 77, just pulled up a uh, Schrader, Model T Ford valve stem cover, universal, what they usually are. Um, let me try to clean it up, and I'll get a close up of what it says down there on the bottom for you. Okay, um, as you can see here, Schrader at the very very top here September uh, New York um, okay it was minted not minted um, patented 1907 I can't read the beginning of it to September 5th 1914 maybe can't quite read everything on there, but Model T Ford Schrader Universal Valve Stem Cover. Very cool, turn of the century, 1907 to 1913, I believe, or 14, something along those lines. Just Sweet. topped a coin out here, too. You can see it was sitting right there and popped right there. 79, so it might not be a weedy. Nope, it is 1941. Let's see it from here. Un cent. Very, very cool. 1941. Let's see if there's any friends. Nope. That was it. Nice coin. Got a 74 signal here. Turns out to be the cap off of probably lipstick tube because I find so many of them. Um, there was iron sounding, so there's probably iron in the hole. I'll recheck it and show you if it is anything cool, but probably iron. Okay, um, I just popped a plug. It was really bouncy, but there was a high tone mixed in there. It meant like a big trash pit. Now listen to it. Solid 8081. Don't know if it was that deep. But it was very crunchy at first. Yeah, it's a freaking washer. Uh oh. Oh well. Alright, folks. Um, got a good signal. And got the beast coil on here the uh, NEL storm coil been over this area tons of times and this was a screaming 66 signal suspender clasp it's one of those uh, oh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head it's a little bent up but nice little pattern on it awesome Okay folks, um, solid 51 signal, that looks like a ring, it really really looks like a ring, oh, yes it is. Now that has to be a faker though, cause it is broke, yeah it's gold plated, gold plated ring. That looks almost like a class ring, or something along those sorts. And the stone just fell out. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a faker. Let me try to clean it up a little bit, though. Well, here it is cleaned up. That almost looks like a Roman soldier. 
on each side like a Roman soldier. It's not marked or anything. Definitely plated, the back's broke. But sure as heck rang up like gold. I saw a little bit shining through. I thought I might have had some there, but nope. That's alright though. Broken, but it's worth it. Well, I just dug another what I believe is a ring. Just started scrubbing on it, and it's really, really shiny underneath all that muck. Um, 62, so it could be silver, real thin silver, or it could be aluminum. I will have to test it. It does have a, like a little bit of weight to it. It doesn't feel like aluminum. You can see where they hooked it, the band together on uh, the back there. So it could be a ring, or it just could be something off a piece of machinery, but I'll test it, and we'll see. This is pretty neat. Teeny tiny little toy gun. Look how small the trigger is. <laughs> well, I just dug a weedy. It rang up real low. Uh, 76. 1937D. I like when they come out this dark brown and green color. Sweet. All right, wrap up time. Here is my copper scrap. I'm not too sure what this piece is here. I don't know if it's scrap or not, what it is, but I don't know. And copper wire, this was probably off of a car or something. Um, find a little copper lipstick tube type thing. Um, shell casing. It says 308 Winchester and can't read what it says at the top. I got a Schrader Universal Valve Stem Cover for a Model T Ford 1907 to 1913 I believe is what it says. Here's all my different array of ring type things. Uh, not sure what most of these are off of. Thought this might have been silver, but it is not. I tested it. Got a lead ring. I'm not sure what that was off of. It's lead. Um, this is another copper brass type deal. And we got the little Roman soldier. Roman soldier ring. Gold plated. With a little fake stone in it. It's cracked straight down the middle and the back broke off. But that would have been a nice ring if it was real, but a ring nonetheless. Uh, a little uh, aluminum disc, it might be a token or something. A, uh, uh, well, I'm blanking. A um, suspender clasp. Suspender clasp. Oh my god, mosquitoes are everywhere. A uh, barrel for a toy gun. And a complete toy gun all the parts except for the barrel and I found a barrel that obviously does not go to it and that's a, but actually made in USA so that's probably like 50 60 something like that that little cap gun a uh, little lid um, I saved this one just because I've never seen one like that with the uh, diamonds around the center don't know if it's worth keeping um, found this guy. Don't know what that's off of. Um, I got a 1941 and a 1937D Weedy. Uh, a 62 and a 64. Uh, nickel and a penny. And two clad. So, that is my hunt. Not too bad. I tried the storm at coil out for a little bit again in the, uh, less trashy areas, but... Man, I just kept digging bottle cap after bottle cap. For some reason, I lost touch with that coil. I've been using the little one so much, I've been loving it. I'll switch back to the uh, little one later. But, that's it for my hunt, and I hope you enjoyed. See you on the next.